What's your name? My name is Rekan. <sighs> Rekan. I understand that you lost your mother a few days ago. I want you to understand that death is a necessary end, which must come when it must come. On that note, therefore, forget about your mother and brace up for the duties ahead. You are now the servant attached to my son. You have no opinion and any right to suggest anything. I want you to swear here and now that you will serve this family, specifically my son, until you die. I swear to serve this household, most importantly your son, until I die. Good. Now, get back to work. Mother, don't you think it's unfair? She just lost the only surviving member of her family. Life is unfair, my son. To keep this family together for generations to come, you must be very authoritative. Make people fear you. Besides, where people think it is. very strong and healthy from the outside. Many of our women still regard me as that elegant queen that can never go wrong. But within, I know that I'm dying slowly. Mother, I, I don't get it. I wish your father is still alive to cuddle me. How I wish you understand how I desperately need to see your children before I exit this world. Mother, what are you talking about? You're the strongest woman in this land. It's too early to be talking about death. Don't you think so? I forgot to tell you, son. The hammer list was here. He prepared a strong medicine. But I don't know how long it will sustain me. Son. I have a deadly sickness. And this, it's eating me up. You must get married. I need to see your children before I depart and rejoin your father. Mother, I, I, I need you. I am not ready to carry the burden of this, this community. Uh, at least not yet. I will speak with the Habalis. He will find the cure. He must heal you. There is no time. You must get married. I don't have much time left.
busy with the affairs of the gods. So I will go straight to the point. I want you to consult the gods for a suitable wife for my son. Is the prince ready to get married? Or is this a mother's wish? As long as the prince sees his mother, he will never be ready. And I have a very short time to be with him. I need to die knowing that my son is not alone, but with someone. His wife, a maiden of a noble birth. Okay. I will consult the gods to know which home has been chosen to produce a wife for the prince. I shall return with the answers in two market days. Hmm. Thank you, I have the gods. Thank you. You're welcome. Your Majesty. I take my leave now. What is it? Why are you looking sad? You're not looking happy at all. What is going on? If anyone should hear what I'm about to say, I will be beheaded. I heard the queen is sick and does not have much time to leave. Oh, this is really sad. I pity the prince. She is all he has right now. And that is all you can say? Does my life not mean anything to you? Rekan, yes, we are nothing to the nobles, but we can be something to ourselves. I never knew my life means nothing to you too. What are you talking about? Okay, what has your life got to do with the dying queen? Have you not heard? What? That when the queen dies and is being buried, her maid jumps into the grave willingly and is buried alive with the queen. What kind of barbaric tradition is that? They do not care for human life. Like, what sort of sacrifice is that? Reckon. Very soon, you will be beheaded if you keep talking about the tradition like this. I'm leaving. Stand up. I'm not comfortable eating while you're kneeling. Um, I am sorry, my prince. I cannot do that. This is the tradition. The tradition demands that I kneel while you eat. Only when you are done can I stand. Okay, well, I have to quickly eat so you can be free to go about whatever you want to do. my friends. I am sorry. I am very sorry. This shouldn't have happened. I am sorry. Please punish me. Please. What are you talking about? How's this your fault? Did you stand from where you're kneeling to put an insight on me? No. You are not to be blamed. Oh, brother, I... Thank you. You saved my life. Okay, just stand, take the food, um, I'm done eating. you is an amazing experience. I hope I will not get punished for not running away when you got close to me. <laughs> no one dares. No one dares punish you. Say you, you flatter me. 
And I think I'm still lagging behind when it comes to making you happy. What have I done to deserve all this? You saved me. I saved you from what? You saved me from myself. Reckon before you came into my life, I have always been on my own. I don't talk to people, I don't have friends. But look at me right now. I'm all smiling. And I owe it to you. So I say, thank you. Thank you too. Okay. Now I want you to ask the prince of anything and I will gladly do it for you. My prince, what have I asked that you have never given to me? You have given me everything. I owe you my loyalty. I will forever be loyal to you. Thank you. <laughs> you are still scared. Yes. To the land dispute between those families. Yes, mother. Why don't want you worrying about the, the problems of this kingdom? Mm -hmm. Just focus on getting well. Mm -hmm. You still believe that I will come out of this sickness alive? Mm. Now that I'm still speaking, is the only time we have. For when my mouth closes permanently, then you will know you no longer have a mother. <laughs> Don't say that, mother. Don't. What happens to that strong, that strong woman that brags about carrying my children and beating them before she leaves the world? <sighs> that woman is dying and does not think she can fulfill that wish of seen her grandchildren but she can see her son get married before she dies hmm. I know you're spending a lot of time with that slave girl don't give me that look I may be confined to this room but I have eyes around the palace I see and hear everything that happens. Stop meeting her. You're getting married to a noble. You do not want to make her heart broken, do you? Mother, she makes me happy. And I think I love her. And if you love me as your son, she will support whatever that makes me happy. You know who you love, but you do not know who loves you. Just because she makes you laugh, does not mean she loves you. She could be doing her obligation as a slave girl, which is to make her prince happy. Listen son, you cannot fall in love with a slave. It's an abomination. If you desire her carnally, go ahead and have her. She will not resist because she serves you and must do whatever that makes you happy. But I have to go now. I... You just take your medicine and, and rest. Okay. And one more thing, mother. Don't try to make someone hate the person he loves. 
because he will go on loving the person and hating you. Get well. Did he just say he might hate me? What's wrong with that boy? Has he been bewitched? From the softness of your palms and the fragrance of your ointment, I know who this is. The prince. Wow! <laughs> you see? Your intelligence will never stop to amaze me. You, you can recognize me even without hearing my voice, even without seeing me. Reckon you see why I love you? Will you stop with these jokes? Stop before you, I get into trouble. I am not joking, Rekan. I love you. And I want to make you my princess. What? Did you just say that? You already put me in trouble. Please, I do not want to get into more trouble with the queen. The queen already knows about my feelings for you, Rekan. Tell me you do not only see me as your master, before whom you hold no opinion, before whom you cannot make suggestions, before whom you have no voice. Reckon tell me you see me as a friend, because indeed I am your friend. You know I feel what you feel, but I cannot do this because I will certainly get killed someday. Reckon. I... I love you. Why are you crying? What is it? Break up. Every day I clean the queen up, feed her and give her her medicine. The queen grow weaker. Our queen is close to her death and I'm close to my death because her fate is my fate. What are you going to do? <laughs> it is not yet your time to die. You cannot just accept such faith. Rekha, you don't understand. The day you came into this palace as a slave. That day your fate was decided by those you serve. It is the tradition. I must die when the queen dies. Be run! Run away! Go! Look, please don't say that again. You will hasten my death if you do. Please. Why is your face like this? How can you not do anything? What sort of tradition is this? That the life of a servant is of no value to all you members of the royal house? What are you talking about? Would I have fallen for you if I don't consider the servants as humans? Speak in clearer terms so that the prince will understand. As soon as your mother dies, Bissade is expected to be buried with her. A healthy young girl die because your mother dies. This is unjust. The tradition considers it an honor for the slave to 
go and serve the queen even in the afterlife. It is also believed that she would find braids while serving the queen. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. My prince, you can change this. You can change the tradition. Please do something. Do not allow Bessie to die. Please. <laughs> My love, I... You, you get on this whole thing wrong. She's going to a place of bliss. A place of bliss? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you a question. If I was the one attached to your mother and I am expected to be buried with her, would you let me die? All of the ghosts, you are welcome. Your Majesty. Tell me you've come with a good news. Yes, Your Majesty. I have come with good news. The gods have spoken, and the noble daughter of Salaka has been chosen as the compatible mate for the prince. May the gods be praised. I can now die, knowing that my son has found the right mate. Please, prepare the prince for the ceremony. I want to bless them. There's an obstacle, your majesty. Except the slave girl dies, the prince will marry no one. Their fate is that of bitterness and pain. The only separation that will hold ground is death. Separation from this life. My son, love is like a sickness. And the remedy for it is patience. If you give it time, you will know this slave girl is not for you. More than love is like the rain. It does not choose which grass it falls on. Slave or noble one cannot predict who they fall in love with. The priest has found a suitable match for you from the noble house of Salaka. My dying wish is that you marry her. Marriage is not a thing of joke. It is ordained and sanctioned by the gods. Please, help your mother to find rest. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry, but I cannot let go of what, what brings me joy. Then don't, don't ask me to make a choice because I will choose my happiness over everything, and that is Rikan. My son, you should know better. You as a leader cannot pick a wife for love or happiness. Our elders used to say that one who marries for love alone will have bad days and good nights. Marrying one who is of a noble background will make this family stronger. And your in-laws will support you every step of the way. Think, son, as a leader. And pick a wife considering the people you serve. Sorry, mother, my my mind is made up. It's either Rican or no one else. A man who is in love is blind. 
I know. That is why you are ignoring what I'm saying to you. Even when it's my dying wish. Take this from me, son. Over my dead body will you marry Rick? Mother. 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 Dad! 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 <laughs> Only the queen had fought death. You wouldn't have to die. Can't somebody save you? Anyone? If there was someone to save me, I wouldn't have been a slave. I wouldn't have. Many instead have lost members of their families. I regarded as course. Many instead have lost members of their families. I regarded as a course. So, you're just a living dead. Because the gods can just choose any of us as sacrifice. Anytime. Rekha, you did not share the same faith with us. You don't. The gods have smiled on you. The prince is madly in love with you. I would not let anything happen to you. Rekha, you are the envy of every other maiden in this palace. You see, this is different. Can't you see this love has brought me trouble? <laughs> because everyone in this palace wants us to end this love because they believe it is a taboo. Priscilla. <laughs> Just look at the bright side. You get to meet your loved ones and be with them. Not when I am expected to save the queen, even in death. Basically, if you cannot run now, run in the spirit world, or else you will be foolish. The chief priest is ready. And they have brought out the ancient tool of the queen. I am sorry you have to end this way. But trust me, you're going to a place of please. Shall we? Serving her in the world beyond. <laughs> I like your spirit. I have no doubt that in your next life you will be a great woman. Thank you, great woman. Here is the ancient stool of the queen. Sit on it before us, and this young man will take you straight to her grave where you'll be buried with her. Come and sit. <laughs> <laughs> Do not sit, for you are not the chosen one. You are the chosen one. The one that must die and be buried to give our departed queen peace in the land beyond. Come and sit immediately. Come and sit! Me? You are wrong, Chief Priest. 
The tradition demands that the maid attached to the queen dies with her. I am not attached to the queen. I am attached to the prince. I cannot die. She, she's right, great one. Beside her here walked with my mother. She should be the one buried alongside her, not Rekan. Rekan walks with me. I had both is both is But I'm dying. I'm so troubled because of my son. I want you to find a permanent solution to her. You refuse that she be ostracized from this land. Why? Do you care about her in any way? I don't know my son. He's, he's useless when he's a father. Yes. Very, very useless. He will follow her to the forest. She needs to die. I cannot see that happen. But you have to. You, you have to grant my dying wish. When you finally break out the ancient stool of the queen, I want you to manipulate the process. Yes. Manipulate the process. Declare her. Declare her the chosen one. To be to be buried with me. It will be disastrous for you, Your Majesty, even in the land of the dead, to be buried with a stubborn maiden. of this land and I am the one saddled with the responsibility of speaking for the gods she is the chosen one the one that must be buried to give our departed queen peace in the land beyond come and sit immediately please if I must die today please allow me use my voice let me speak for the last time please this it's injustice. This is conspiracy. Everyone in this palace knows that I am in a relationship with the prince. But the people in positions of authority have decided to separate the prince and I by killing me. I am not the chosen one. I am the selected. If I die, I die in sorrow. And this sorrow will linger for generations to come. <laughs> Do not allow her to deceive you with those words. For she is the chosen one. This is the verdict of the gods. She must die to give our queen an easy passage. This is a wicked world. Come and sit. Get doing deep, 
mama don't you are there eh even at the point of death she confirmed she was in love with you that means she left this world with you on her mind that is why i have exposed you to the spiritual separation process she will no longer come to you again great one thank you so much thank you since she died she has continued to to, to torment me no longer will she torment you her spirit has been caged and focused on her services to the queen you are safe once again thank you Your son is now three years old. That means he's standing on a tripod. And this is the time to present him to the ancestors. He will reign after you. And he must be fortified. Great one. I have already discussed that with my, my wife. And we're getting ready for the fortification. And I promise you, it will be a very big occasion. I am sorry to come in, Great One. But you know, I'm, I'm quite curious. The chief maid in this palace just delivered a baby girl. And you were about saying something about that child. But suddenly you stopped. If I may ask, Great One, why? Something is definitely wrong with that child. That is all I can say. Great One. We are confused by that assertion. You are the eye of the gods, the voice of our ancestors. Is there something about that child that the gods have revealed to you? Can you please speak? Your Highness, I came here with the intention of speaking. The gods have made some revelations, but they are yet to reveal it to me completely. I can tell you, that child is a bad omen. She is not good for this family. From what I saw, the priest has a vital piece of information and he doesn't know how to go about it. For me, that is not good for the land. Well, whatever that could be has a connection with the, the chief mate. Then let's send her away. Things don't work that way. She is still the chief maid in the palace. But she no longer bears the cup of the king. That kind of immoral woman should not hold such a sensitive position in this palace. My king, my submission is that we send her away. I have already given her my word that she's under the royal protection. I spoke on my honor as the king. I cannot wake up and go back on them. Your Majesty, there are some things bigger than mere promises. A strange child has been born in this land, and that strange child lives under your royal protection. The priest has a message on that child, but he doesn't know how to go about it. If you ask me, like I said, I say we send both mother and child away. Okay, can you please sit down with her and see how you can get information about, about the child? Because I cannot just send her away. That will be a mockery of real integrity and my fathers will rise against me. I humble myself before you, Your Majesty. You sent for me. Sit. Closer. I know you, you have explained what you said you know. But sadly, I do not believe you. Your Majesty, if you will permit me, I can swear on my life, 
I have not lied. I cannot explain what they did to me. I just passed out. It, it was later I, I discovered I was pregnant. Where did this happen? In the palace or somewhere else? It happened in the palace. At the time, I lived alone in a hut as a chief maiden. They, they were strange men. Before, before I could speak, I was made to pass out. Why did you not mention it to anyone here? Excuse me. You bought the cup for the king. And why did you continue bearing the cup when you knew you had been defiled? I, I am sorry, your majesty. I already apologized to the king and, and he has forgiven me. Oh, he has forgiven you quite all right. But there is something with that child you bore. For the interests and peace of this palace, please do away with that child that came from the strange men that defiled you. Your Majesty, it is not her fault she came in like that. And she has become my first child. And I love her the way she is. I am sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot do away with my child. Get out. I'm sorry. There is something the chief priest has been trying to tell me about you and your child. For reasons I don't know, he has not been able to say it. Is there a way I can be of help? I can prepare something. My concern is not about food. Is there something you feel I should know about that child? Is it about the father? I, I told you already. I do not know who the father of the child is. I was made unconscious that night. Later, I discovered I was... Pregnant. Isn't that enough reason to know that that child is evil? You shouldn't be proud of such a child. Your Majesty, please do not change your perception about me. You, you have given me your words that I can stay as long as I want. I do not have anywhere to oh, go. Oh, listen, listen. I remember the promises made. What I'm asking is, do you have any information that I should know about the child? I... I do not have any information, my king. I have lived to love my child. Please... Keep us under your protection. As, as, as soon as I am stable and ready, I will leave. Do you even know the implication of what you've done? You're the queen of this land. You have no right to consult another seer apart from the priest of this land. I am sorry, your majesty. But can't you see what is, what is happening here? Your priest has gone blind. And your majesty, I cannot fold my arms and watch and do nothing about watch it. Watch your utterances, woman. What is happening to the priest is, is a natural thing. Sometimes they lose communication with the gods, but that does not give you the right to allege that he is blind. I am not alleging anything, your majesty. I am speaking based on what the seer of Bagidi told me. The priest conspired with someone in authority and murdered an innocent one. Your majesty, the gods have paid a deaf ears on him. Is that what they told you? Your Majesty, the Chief Maiden has not told us who fathered her child. Mm -mm. Your Majesty, that child is evil and is an enemy of the throne. How can you believe a thing like this? How? You, 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 you label the child evil because, because the, the, the Chief Maid does not know the father? Come on, my Queen. What is happening can happen to anyone. Your Majesty, let's not make the meeting drag on for too long. 
I have set plans in motion. This afternoon, the child will be kidnapped and killed. I beg your pardon. How dare you say that? Your Majesty, I am acting on the words of the seer. Forget your priest. Your priest is useless. If that child leaves, she will set us ablaze and treat us as commoners. Trust me, Your Majesty. When we defend royalty, we become brutal and decisive. Your Majesty, it is not about being incompetent. Then what is this about? Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, I moved in to kidnap the child the and kill her as instructed. Then I discovered she was not there with her mother. How do you mean both mother and child were not there? Exactly what we found out. It seems they left before we arrived. Does it mean she overheard us or what? But no one was around us. Okay, 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 I am that Ramaha who they conspired to kill. 
just to suppress the truth. It is 23 years now. I am back to fulfill my destiny. You evil chief priest. You will be the first to go. The power that came against my father was mightier than him. Now I know why the gods abandoned him and chose me. He confessed that he manipulated a process that led to the death of an innocent maiden. His head was severed from his body. By the same forces that attacked him? Wait. Are you confirming to us now that our former chief priest has finally met his death? Yes, my king. And I feel it is good for him. He has really suffered. He has really suffered a lot in the last two to three years that he was bedridden. I came to inform you, my king. May his spirit find peace with our ancestors. You have not told us about the confession you said he made before he was attacked. Does it have anything to do with us? Yes. It has to do with all of us. How? The innocent maiden has reincarnated. And she is coming with vengeance. That is what he said. And I am going to confirm what that means. You... You deceived me with tales of love. But you never loved me. You gave me hope, but you dashed the hope. You knew the chief priest was lying, that evil chief priest, but you never stopped him! Rikan, I am sorry. Sincerely, I still regret what happened that day. But I was so weak. I am sorry I was unable to, to save you. Please, that is why you are a weak man and you cannot defend your subjects. Forgive me, please. Just stop. Stop because I will never forgive you. Okay, Ikuaji will go. 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 Your Highness, the medins told me you refused to touch your meal. Are you sick? Uh, is it because of the bad dream? Why would she appear in my dreams? After all these years, why would she start making appearances now? Why? Your Highness, I think it's your mind. Remember the new priest mentioned her name? And I am sure your mind must have gone back to her. Wait, 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 wait,
Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Help him! Help him up! Help him! Richard! I was out of this world. What happened to me? Son, you had an epileptic attack. After you left the throne room. Epileptic attack? Mm -hmm. When did it begin? I never had it. And I was told it is contagious. No, my friends. You are fine now. You will never have it again. Who is she? Her name is Ramara. The girl whom I believe the God sent to save you. Hello. I will send one of the maidens to attend to you. I want to speak with you later, please. Thank you, Majesty. Um, I came to the palace to see if I can get help. I'm a troubled maiden. A troubled maiden? A troubled maiden saved my life. What is the cause of your trouble? Please, tell us, tell us. We, we want to know everything about you. Troubled. Do you mind telling me what is bothering you? Oh, I remember. When you saw her lying there, you called her Rekan. Are you beginning to see the spirit of the slave girl? I am not going crazy. And I am not seeing spirits. But this Ramara that just came into the palace looks exactly like Rikan. Rikan, my first love. You are joking, right? Can someone collaborate what you're saying? Because I'm beginning to think you're imagining her. No, how can I am not? I am not imagining anything. Three people come to mind. Just three. The chief priest, the chief maid, and Bisedi. Unfortunately, two of them are dead. And Bisedi ran away the very day Rikan was buried alive. This Ramara, this Ramara looks exactly like Rikan. Now the words of the seer of Baghdi is making sense. He shouted at me when I went to see him. Now I understand it completely. He said, Rekan returns. Could it be, Your Highness, that Ramara is Rekan? That child will destroy this land. Mm -mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. If she was the one coming for destruction, mm -hmm. she wouldn't have saved the prince. She saw the prince. She had an opportunity of allowing him to be destroyed, but she saved him. Your story indeed is very emotional and I am sure there is there is nobody who wouldn't want to help you. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Your word is a healing balm, Your Majesty. You're welcome. 
for saving my son, for risking your own life to save someone you don't even know, I have decided to reward you. So, feel free. Ask me for anything, anything at all. And the here and now, I vow on my honor to give it to you. Um, like I explained, Your Majesty, I don't have anywhere to go. I lost the only surviving member of my family. What I wish right now is a roof over my head. I don't mind serving you as a maid in the palace, even if I am not paid for my services. I will feel graciously rewarded if this wish is granted. But you don't look like a servant. Your cloth is richly made from the finest of fabrics. Ah, fine. If that is what you want as a reward for saving the prince, you will stay. You stay and serve me as my personal servant. But you must not go near my son. And if he comes around you, run. Run away. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. 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 My prince, mm. you shouldn't be doing this. I am your subject. I should be the one doing this to you. You are not my ordinary subject. You are my lifesaver. And I will continue to do this more and more and more for you until I pay my debt in full. No, no, my prince. You are not supposed to do this. Besides, you don't owe me anything. I want you to stop, else you put me in trouble. Go back to sleep. You worry too much. Hmm? Come on, go. <laughs> with him. I made that same mistake and when the problem came, he could not save me because a life of a slave servant is nothing to the nobles. He is different. He is nice and he does not discriminate. He treats me like a princess. He is his father's son. Selfish. Nobles who think only of themselves. You must destroy all, including him. You must wipe off that evil lineage. And then I can find rest. Go and do what you are asked and don't get distracted. Go! Okay, you go. She knows the game more than anyone else. I will not warn you again. When I accepted you, I warned you to stay away from my son. Mother! 
Mother, I invited her because she knows the game more than anyone. I invited her because she's different more than anyone I've seen. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, uh, see, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I'm the one who invited you. Because I know what I want. Please, stay with me always. Please, sit down, let's play. Please, mm -hmm. please. Do sit down, let's play. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Please, sit down. Um, my prince, I understand you have a visitor. Is there anything special you would want me to prepare for you? What right do you have to make such a useless offer to my prince? What can you even prepare? You slave from an unknown background. Please, Lakama, don't talk to her like that. Please. Now go to the cook and get me the breadfruit juice. I asked her to prepare me. Now! Um, I am sorry. It is only the queen that has the privilege to drink the breadfruit juice. <laughs> and this is why I said you are a lunatic. I am going to be the queen soon. And if you provoke me with any further argument, you will be the first I will fire once I become queen. I'll go get it. Lakama. Lakama, I think you are too harsh on her. Have you forgotten she has become a member of this royal household through service? Oh, my prince. She's not. Don't even bother to say that again. She's not. Here is your breadfruit juice. Uh, I like this. You okay? No, no, don't worry. Go on. It's for the queens. <laughs> I thank the gods you know. <laughs> Grandmother, what left the kitchen was pure breadfruit juice. I've already confirmed that from the palace cook who I trust absolutely. Now you, why did you put a lizard in that cup? Your Majesty, I did not put any lizard. I believe the lizard jumped into the cup on my way from the kitchen put any lizard. Your Majesty, are you listening to this useless servant I employed out of sympathy? How can a dead lizard jump into a cup of freshly prepared juice? I know what you're planning. You will never succeed. Oh, no. I don't have any evil plan. I don't have any evil intention, Your Majesty. I'm just a mere servant. I cannot do that. Mm. You are a servant in the palace. And you allowed me drink from a cup that has the remains of a dead lizard in it. <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> she must be punished. She wants me dead. Uh, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, all of you, please. I want to be left alone with my queen. Everybody leave. Please. Everybody leave. Your Majesty. I don't know why you asked them to go. That girl, Ramara, must be punished. Do you really believe this allegation? <laughs> Do you really believe that she put that lizard in that cup? Your Highness, that girl is evil. She can do and undo and she must be punished. Right. Is there anything the matter? 
my king, my queen, can I speak to you alone? Your Majesty. Yes, what is the problem? No, I, I had a nightmare. I'm scared. What nightmare? She's evil. She's not an ordinary person. She should be sent away. Why are you calling her evil? Is it because you found a lizard in the cup she served you? No. She has been punished for that carelessness and believe me, she has learned her lessons. No, Your Majesty. It's not about the lizard. She was killing everyone in this place. You, you were bleeding from the neck and my queen was spitting out blood. My wife, I know you don't like her. I don't like her that much too. Because she's a slave that has refused to accept her status. But we can't chase her away just because of a dream. A mere dream, my dear. Listen, my dear. Those things that preoccupy our minds during the day, have a way they appear again in our dreams. Mm -hmm. Ramara is not as evil as you tend to think. No. She was the one that saved my son that fateful day he had an epileptic attack. His guards that were with him refused to get close. It was this Ramara that came from nowhere, not only rescued my son, but actually stabilized him. Mm -hmm. She is not evil, and please, I think she has to be accommodated. Your Highness, who was that? What does he want? A messenger from the noble house of Lishin. They sent him to come and inform me that the scheduled marriage between their daughter and our son has been cancelled. Strangely, they didn't even give me any reason. That, that, just that they, they are no longer ready to release their daughter to our son. What? That is disrespectful. They have no right to do that without any reason. Even if they want to cancel this marriage, they should come crawling before your royal presence to do that. Who do they think they are? I think the best thing for us to do now is to call our son and ask him to choose who he wants to marry. It is possible that he is destined to marry for love and not just for the crown. Never. That cannot happen. What? I know my son will profess his love for that slave girl and that will not end well, your highness. This royal house will become a laughing stock. But my queen, he is the one that will be living with the woman for the rest of his life. Don't you think he has the right to choose Your who Highness, he can live with? Your Highness, please, don't do this. I don't want to have a slave as a daughter-in-law. I don't. But my queen, slaves are equally human beings. Your Highness, please. Why can't we give them the chance to live? Your Highness. Why do I have this feeling that history is about repeating itself? Why? My prince. My prince. You look worried. What is the problem? You disobeyed me. I am not happy. I disobeyed you, how? I gave an instruction that you should stop going to the stream. That you should leave other servants to do that. Why did you disobey me? My prince, I am still a servant. Besides, your mother warned me last week. She told me to take my job seriously. I am still a servant. If I stop, she will kill me. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. Hmm? Let's talk about us. Okay, so what do you want us to talk about? <laughs> like Amos family has cancelled my scheduled marriage with her. What? Yes. Why 
people they do that? Nah, I don't know. Whatever is in the have is not important. I feel like a very heavy burden has, has been lifted off my shoulders. I, I, I never loved Lakama. At least I'm free. I can, we can be together now. No, my prince. It is not possible. The tradition says a prince cannot marry a maid. Besides, your mother will never allow this happen. She will kill me. <laughs> Someone will change the tradition. Come on, give me your leg. Let me massage you. Come on. <laughs> give me your leg. Let me massage you. Come on. <laughs> hey. Ah. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is a taboo for the son of the king to touch the feet of a slave. Son, are you under a spell? What are you doing? I am sorry, Your Majesty. I didn't know it is forbidden. I swear it will never happen again. You evil girl. Is this why you appeared in Lakama's dream? To scare her away? So you can crawl to the top? Let me tell you. No matter how long a log stays under the river, it can never become a crocodile. You are a slave. And a slave you will remain. No matter how long you stay in the house of the noble, and no matter how long you warm the bed of the prince, a slave you will remain. You will never be a noble. I am sorry, Your Majesty. Mother, mother, that was too harsh. What wrong has she committed? I will punish her because of your actions, and you will do nothing about it. And I'll continue to punish her if you allow her come near you. And you will do nothing about it. What's wrong with you? Is this not going against my royal oath? I am not allowed to kill you. Listen, Dukubo. Do not make me hate you. She is a slave girl without roots. How can you refer to her as someone when she is a nobody? Besides, I do not say you should kill her in this palace. I will take both of you to the bank of the river, where I will provide an opportunity for you to kill her. How will that happen, my queen? One thing I don't ever want is to kill a slave who knows I was responsible for Jesus or her death and they have a way of Wanting one from even the dead. I will get her eyes fixed on me. And once you notice that the sacrifice has gone deep, slowly come from behind and cut off her head. Do it once. No mistakes. Exactly. It is a taboo for a man to watch the queen while this sacrifice lasts. I know the process, my queen. I will go far, far away from here. Your Majesty. And you, 
you are the slave girl who will watch this process. On no account must you take your eyes off me. If you do, this sacrifice will not be accepted. And if it does, I will skin you alive. My eyes on you, my queen. It shall not be ruined. You have just dug your grave by bringing me to the same river that gave me life to issue a useless order to me. You hate me and I hate you more. Today is your end. You know why I am here. I will not waste my time explaining myself over and over again. For I have done this throughout my life I you are thinking. I know you will be calling me names like witch, demon, evil. Just stop. You don't know what the Queen Labi has done to me. I am here on a mission and I must complete my mission. Queen Labi is the new witch in the royal house. I will bring them down one by one. I know you will think that I cannot save innocent lives. Queen Labi is not innocent. She is wicked. Watch me. if you start talking what exactly happened you are telling me that my wife who was hell and healthy today my mom that took permission from me to go to the river for sacrifice is no more how is that possible your majesty i came back the time i was scheduled to come back and i met her body lying dead by the river bank brahmara here can explain what happened <laughs> she asked me to continue looking at her while she performed the sacrifice. I continued looking at her. She said if I stop looking at her that the sacrifice will be rejected. Suddenly, a force rose from the ground and struck her and she died instantly. <laughs> I should have died in the place of the queen. My king is my fault. Please punish me. Punish me. How can you say that? It is not your fault. A force that, that rose from the ground and killed the queen instantly could have torn you into smithereens. It is not your fault. I should have done something. No. I should have it's, done something. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Enough! Enough of this nonsense! There are two pains in my heart. Why? Why is it that since you came into this palace, it has been from one misfortune to another misfortune? Why? Your Majesty, I should be punished for the death of the Queen. The life of a maid can be replaced again and again. Please punish me, please. Father, Father, why are you blaming her? Father, why are you blaming her? Father, for a force to, to rise from the ground and kill the Queen instantly. Father, this means she might have done something. Come, shut up. What are you doing? 
strength associated your mother with evil? What wrong has she done in this family, if not to build this family? And you stand before me here, speaking something that is very stupid, but your mother is evil that she has done something. What has she done? Father, Father, I think the best thing to do now is to hear from the chief priest. My wife went to deliver for a sacrifice and there she met her death. It was actually reported that a force rose from the ground and killed her instantly. What force was that? And what offense did she commit to deserve that kind of death? An angry maiden seeks vengeance. The death that occurred has nothing to do with any force. I call it the mystery of Boomerang. Mystery of Boomerang? What does that mean? Your queen planned to kill another, but met her death. Forget about her and think about yourself. Think about myself? How? What do you want me to do? The innocent maiden is angry with you because you had the chance to stop my father, but you failed. Appease her before it is too late. I believe you know who I am talking about. My prince, you told your father to invite the chief priest. Why are you not there with them? I got talking with the Kubo. I am not happy right now. My prince, you are not happy with me. You are not happy with me. I swear on my life. I am not responsible for your mother's death. Believe me. I know. I know you are not the one that killed her. And I know she killed herself. I hate her for going that far. My prince, there is something you are not telling me. What is it? You scare me, my king. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you really scared? Or you are just pretending to be? Pretending? I cannot pretend to you, my king. Listen, the seer of Bagidi was very emphatic when he spoke to my wife 23 years ago. I'm coming from there. And he has repeated the same thing he said 23 years ago. Why did you decide to deceive all of us? Why? I cannot deceive you, my king. I don't know what you are talking about. You know what I am talking about. You are reckon. You reincarnated as a Ramara. The daughter of that chief maiden that ran away with her child. The child that had no father. Can you swear on the staff of the king that you don't know what I am talking about? I will not swear on the staff. You are an evil king. Reckon looked at you in the eyes when that evil chief prince asked her to sit on that evil stool. But you did nothing! You threw your face away. I would have spared you, but I won't! What, what, what can you do? I know you think I am responsible for the death of the king. I never said that. I am disturbed that my parents died under strange circumstances. I am scared of ascending the throne of my fathers. Why will you say a thing like that? My prince, you are a noble man. I have watched you since I came into this palace. You cannot even hurt a fly. Whatever sins your parents committed that got them killed cannot kill you. No. You speak as if you know much about the operation of the gods. 
Uh, tell me, what do you know? I don't know anything. But I know that the gods will always vindicate the trust. Silas, your father is dead. And Rekan is responsible. She is not Rekan, she is Ramara. Both are one and the same. The difference is that one is Rekan and she reincarnated as Ramara. She killed my father, the first chief priest. She has killed your parents. She will not spare you. What, what do we do now? What do we do? I'm not ready for all this. I'm not ready for all this. Taking decisions, giving orders. I'm not ready. Your Highness, she must die. You must mandate the whole village to stone her to death. As the tradition requires a witch to be punished. Stone her to death? Yes. No! I cannot do it. I love her so much. I can die for her. Stoning her to death is like stoning me to death. No, I cannot do it. Whatever we do now cannot bring my parents back from the dead. Your Highness, their spirit can rest knowing that we have given them justice. This love will lead to your death and will ultimately lead to the total annihilation of this lineage. Your attitude towards me has changed, my friend. How can you say that? Tell me, what did I do? You left the palace this morning without telling me where you went to. You used to tell me everything. You didn't even tell me when you left. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. You are the best thing that happened to me. But I'm bothered. My prince, what is bothering you? Tell me and let's solve this problem together. Please. I know you will kill me as you killed my parents. What did you just say? How would you say a thing like that? I've been away since morning because I went to make inquiries. Now I know you. Now I know you. You are the reincarnated Rikam, the maiden that was unjustly killed. You are on a mission of revenge. I now know you. You will kill me to fulfill your destiny. But before you do that, please. Tell me when so that I can prepare to say goodbye to you. No, no my friends. I will not kill you. I love you so much. Though my hands are tied. But I will not kill you. I love you. I love you now. And I will love you forever. Why did you summon me? What is it? Why are you crying? Please. You cannot kill him. Please. Please don't kill him. He loves me. He is the only man that loves me and I love him too. Please. Can you hear yourself? You are in love with a man who is aware that you killed his parents. He will stop at nothing to avenge their deaths. This one is different! He is different! This one can die for me! Please! You cannot trust a noble. They are as venomous as a snake. You will spare no one. You must destroy them. I warned you not to fall in love, but you did. 
Now you will suffer the pain of watching a loved one die. Rekan, please. Please have mercy. Please. Rekan, please. Please, I beg of you. Please have mercy. Please. Rekan, please. 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 You stubborn girl. Your persistence has paid off. Just like me. You fell in love with one of them. Why do I feel jealous? You are going to be a queen and I cannot stop you for I have seen the love. He is different from his father. He can stand for the woman he loves. Thank you for your understanding. What shall I do next? Just go and be the queen you are destined to be. Mine ended in sorrow. That sorrow will no longer linger on, for I have just forgiven them. The people will sing your praise. Go and be happy in his arms. Do not come to this junction again. Go. I am ready for you. I know you have come to kill me. Do it! Do it! Do it! I will leave the world! And I will continue to love you! Do it! On that fateful day, your father asked me to swear on the staff of the kings. And I refused. I refused because he deserved the punishment that he got. My prince, I am ready to swear on the staff of the king that I will not kill you. You will only die when the gods decide. Tamis. You have forgiven my family. One man can save a generation. You have just saved yours. My prince. If you still want to marry me, I am ready. I love you. You are my future. You are my happiness. And you are my life. I will continue to love you as my wife, my mother, and my best friend. Oh, may it be cool. 